Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, excuse the noise in the background. I'm 3D printing some, my Iron Man hybrid suit, which is one of the projects that I'll be doing in the future uh, this year. But I wanted to give you guys an update on the Batmobile, the Batman vs. Superman or the Dawn of Justice slash Justice League Batmobile. Um, I just received my preliminary files, 3D printable files, for the Batmobile. Yeah, so I'm really friggin' excited about this one. Um, this is one of the projects I'm going to be working on this year. Um, I've hinted at it in some of the other videos and talked about it, but I now have the files that I can 3D print a full-scale, well, I'm going to print a full-scale Batmobile, or a uh, Batmobile that'll fit on a car that'll be street legal. So what that means is that I think the new, the new Batmobile, I think between here and here is like 10 feet I think it's 10 feet wide and a street legal car can only be eight and a half feet wide so these parts and these parts will be moved in probably or removed chopped and mounted to the body so that it looks a little bit different however the remainder of the body part uh, let's rotate this puppy the remainder of the body um, it will stay the same or as much as it can stay on the car that it's going to be mounted on um, but I want to have the removable I want to have this removable which is the machine gun turrets on the front or the anti uh, crowd control weapons whatever he decides to mount on there uh, I want to have those removable so I can mount that driving it down the street and uh, people not freaking out here in Vegas um, and come on the rest of the car will be um, 3d printed and I know that it won't stand up to the heat so it'll probably be 3d printed then molded and fiberglassed or molded and carbon fibered or covered in fiberglass and then mounted that way with the leaving the 3d prints inside but this is going to be the project that I'm going to be working on this year, one of the projects I'm going to be working on this year. So I just wanted to give you guys a heads up, and I will definitely be posting this on my Patreon, which will be up and running probably this week, next week, and I'll do a separate video on that, on what um, I will do for rewards, but just a hint, uh, the rewards will be 3D printed. Uh, misprints or helmets that are too small and I think the first one will be Deadpool the Deadpool face shell I'm gonna do a video on that one but just to give you guys a little teaser so this is the car that's what I'm gonna be working on it's one of the projects this year will be of course I have the bulletproof bat suit and my 3d printers up and running so I can do that um, do the armor and stuff for that and reset rescale it to whatever size I want. I'm going to do the Batmobile. I'm going to do, being that we have Iron Man, or sorry, not Iron Man, we have Alien coming out. I saw this really awesome Iron Man Alien mashup online. This guy did a action figure mashup, and I des decided that I'm going to take inspiration from that and make a full-size Iron Man Alien mashup suit. Um, I'm going to post a picture of that um, in another video, maybe in this video, maybe in the next one, and then I, if I can get the files, if I can get it organized and completed by WonderCon, I'm going to try to do uh, Bat a Batman Beyond version of my Batman Beyond version, um, different parts and from different suits that I like that'll work for me, and then if I can get it organized, the another suit I want to do this year is the guy that can talk to fishes, uh, his armor from uh, Justice League. So if that all comes together, I'll be doing that video, that in videos too. So just to give you guys a little heads up, Batmobile, Aquaman armor, Batman bulletproof bat suit, Alien hybrid, Alien Iron Man hybrid suit. Um, and that's uh, on the list for this year. So stay tuned to the channel, to my YouTube channel, and I'll post uh, links to my Instagram and my Patreon when that's up and running. Thanks, guys. Bye.